guys. Hello everyone. Uh, today we've come to a place near Preston uh, called Wood Plumpton to St Anne's Church to visit the grave of the Wood Plumpton witch, a woman named Meg Shelton. In the quiet village of Singleton near Preston, in the late 17th century there lived a woman known as Meg Shelton or Marjorie Hilton who would become infamous as a Wood Plumpton witch. Her isolated cottage, called Cuckoo Hall near Wesham, became the centre of countless tales of witchcraft and supernatural occurrences. Meg, or the filed hag as she was also known, was said to possess a range of magical abilities that stirred fear and fascination among the villagers. One of the most notorious legends claimed she could shapeshift into animals, transforming into hares and geese to steal from local farmers. In one tale she turned a jug into a goose to pilfer milk and the milk dripping from the goose's beak as she fled. Her reputation for malevolence didn't end there. Meg was accused of using her powers to destroy crops and spoil food, causing milk to sour and bringing misfortune to the local community. She could allegedly change her appearance, appearing as an old woman or taking other forms to deceive and torment the villagers. Even after her death in around 1705, Meg's legend continued to grow. According to local folklore, she was found crushed between a wall and a large wooden barrel in her cottage, a bizarre and mysterious end that only fueled suspicions of her witchcraft. Perhaps the most intriguing and strangest part of this story concerns her burial. It's said that after Meg died, her body was buried in the graveyard of St Anne's Church in Wood Plumpton. However, her corpse allegedly kept reappearing outside of the grave, having dug itself out each night. And despite repeated attempts to bury her skeleton, the bones kept reappearing outside of the grave. So to put an end to this disturbing phenomenon, the villagers eventually buried her head first with her feet pointing upwards in a narrow shaft and placed a large boulder on top to keep Meg in place. Tales of the Wood Plumpton Witch reflect the deep-seated superstitions and fears of the time. Meg's story, filled with magical mischief and eerie occurrences, remain a captivating piece of Lancashire's folklore. Next, we're off to visit another witch. Welcome to our journey to the eerie and mysterious Witchwood in Lytham St Anne's, Lancashire. Nestled in a serene woodland, Witchwood holds the dark secret, a legendary grave of a witch who, according to local folklore, was buried here in 1888. But all is not as it first appears. Although this witch's grave is marked as a witch, the witch was actually a horse named the witch. And local legend has it is that if you enter these woods after midnight that you can see the horse running and galloping through the woodland. We also have a video about the Pendle Witch Trials on our channel which is a fascinating look into the superstitions of the time. Thanks for joining us today and I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and bye bye.